Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study about the preparation of thin films. So, these thin films are very important in the modern technology. Okay, these thin films can be manufactured in uh, both the form. That is, it can be manufactured in the crystalline form or it can be manufactured even in the amorphous form. Okay, both of these forms are very important in modern technology. Where we use it, we are using in the uh, in the form of protective coatings on the material. That is, uh, for example, if you consider a knife. On the surface of the knife, we will be coating the thin film for the purpose of stainless. And even uh, in the case of the automobiles, for the scratch resistant, we will be using the uh, coating of the thin films. Okay. The special feature of this uh, thin film is mainly because of their large surface area to volume ratio. Okay. They will be having very large surface area to volume ratio because of that think they will be having the special properties okay and one more thing the structure and property of surface is different from that of interior that means if you have a thin film the property of the surface of the thin film is different from that of uh, interior part of that thin film okay there are uh, many methods are there to prepare the thin films okay uh, those methods uh, will fall under these two uh, main groups that is the uh, chemical method and physical methods okay we will be discussing both one by one and first one we will see uh, is a chemical method under chemical method you can see there are uh, mainly five different uh, uh, methods the first one we have is the cathodic deposition the second one is the electroless deposition, anodic deposition, and we have thermal oxidation method. And the last one is a chemical vapor deposition. Okay, this uh, one is uh, the chemical vapor deposition is already discussed in our uh, channel. Okay, if you haven't watched that uh, video, please uh, watch it. I'll be providing the link of that video in the description box. Please uh, search there. And in this video, we will be uh, you know studying this for the okay first of all uh, we'll be studying in this video okay so we will begin with the first uh, uh, method that is the cathodic deposition so this cathodic deposition is one of the standard method of electroplating okay by which uh, i mean by this method you can prepare the thin films of cations usually okay so here in this cathodic deposition uh, imagine we will be having a beaker okay this is a beaker that is containing some electrolytes in it okay this is a electrolyte okay this is an electrolyte taken in a beaker then what you will be doing is you will be immersing the electrodes okay you will be immersing the electrodes and both the electrodes are made up of metal okay so one is acting like a cathode another one is acting like a anode okay this is our cathode we know the cathodes are negatively charged okay negatively charged this is our uh, anode anodes are what positive electrodes we all know that right so then what you will be doing you will be connecting this uh, anode and this uh, cathode to a external power supply okay so what you will be doing you will be taking a beaker in that beaker electrolyte will be taken and you are dipping the uh, metal electrodes and connecting it to a external power supply okay then you need to apply the uh, external field across this electrode so that the metal ion that is present in an electrolyte for example if you consider this electrolyte is NaCl solution okay this electrolyte is what our NaCl solution we know that uh, in the uh, solution uh, form this Na existing like Na plus cation Cl is Cl minus right so this is our metal ion now right sodium is a metal Na plus is our metal ion and under the influence of this external field this metal ion is there now that will migrate towards the negative electrode so what is our negative electrode cathode is the negative electrode means the metal ion start migrating towards the uh, cathode and it will deposit on the surface of this uh, uh, cathode as a thin film okay now there is a deficiency of cation in the electro uh, electrolyte solution because 
this sodium is deposited over the cathode as a result the uh, cation uh, concentration in the uh, electrolyte solution is decreases so to um, or to maintain the charge balance what happens is that this is anode right so that anode will start uh, you know dissolving gradually in a electrolyte to maintain the charge balance okay this is what a cathodic deposition is okay first what you will be doing you will be taking the beaker and in the beaker you will be taking the electrolyte okay then you will be dipping the uh, metal electrodes one is acting like a cathode and another one is acting like a anode and you are connecting it to an external power supply and once you apply the external power supply the metal ion will start depositing over the cathode as the thin film okay now to maintain the charge balance in the electrolyte what happen our anode will gradually dissolves in the electrolyte mainly to maintain the charge balance okay this is the cathodic deposition okay next we have is the electroless deposition so this electroless deposition as the name indicated this is a deposition in the absence of electricity okay electroless means what uh, there is no electricity is applied if the deposition occurs in the absence of uh, electricity or uh, external uh, field then we call it as a electroless deposition okay uh, we can see it is just uh, similar to the cathodic deposition in the cathodic deposition we had applied what electricity right electric field was applied but in this there is no such uh, electricity is applied okay and this type of uh, electroless deposition is mainly for the deposition of nickel film okay for the deposition of the nickel film we will be using the electroless deposition okay so the main disadvantage of this cathodic deposition as well as electroless deposition is it is mainly for the metal film that means you can prepare the thin films of cations not the anions suppose if you want to prepare the thin films of oxide or if you want to have the thin films of nitrides then you cannot go for the cathodic deposition or electroless de deposition okay why because it is mainly for what metallic film preparation okay that is the main disadvantage of these two method so we have the another method that is called as anodic deposition this anodic deposition is for what for producing the oxide films okay to get the oxide film on the surface of metals so what are the metals we have the metals uh, can be aluminium or thallium niobium titanium and zirconium okay on the surface of these metal uh, for the deposition of oxide film on the surface of this metal we have the anodic deposition so here also the method is just similar to cathodic deposition okay so here also we will be having a uh, beaker that beaker is containing the uh, solution like uh, salt or it and an acid like sulfuric acid h2oso4 okay you can have the uh, solution of a salt or you can uh, have a acid solution and then what you will be doing is you will be uh, dipping the metal so here metal is there no that is aluminium thallium niobium titanium and zirconium that will be acting like a anode okay these metals are acting like what anode that means it is acting like a positive uh, electrode okay so let me denote this is a plus plus means what it is an anode so what we have in the anode we can have aluminium thallium niobium titanium and zirconium and other electrode uh, is acting like a cathode okay the other electrode is acting like a cathode here also these electrodes are connected to a external power supply and you need to uh, apply a uh, field uh, uh, by, uh, through the uh, you know uh, power supply now whenever you apply a electric field to this uh, acid solution or a salt solution uh, the oxide is there no that is o2 minus the oxide ion uh, from these uh, solutions 
um, acid solution or from the salt solution will start to migrate towards our cathode okay why because the oxides are negatively charged and our anode is a positively charged right so because of that reason the oxide ions will start migrating towards the anode and it will deposit over this anode as a thin film okay now as uh, we apply the electric field means if we increase the uh, strength of the electric field then more of oxide ion can deposit over the surface of what our anode okay this is how we can prepare the oxide film over the aluminium or gallium or niobium titanium or zirconium okay first what you need to do you have to take a beaker and in that beaker you have to take the liquid electrolyte that means it can be a salt solution okay it, uh, salt solution means it is not nacl okay you have to take a salt solution in such a way that that is containing an oxygen in it okay or you can take the uh, acid solution like sulfuric acid or uh, hno3 okay uh, whatever acid you take no that should contain a oxygen in it okay you cannot take hcl hydrogen chloride okay because that is not containing an oxygen right so here i am taking an sulfuric acid then what you will be doing you will be uh, dipping the uh, electrodes okay the cath uh, one is um, cathode and another one is acting like a an anode okay your metal of uh, interest is acting like a an anode and once you apply the uh, electric field the oxide ion from the solution is start migrating towards the anode and deposit as a thin film okay so this is uh, how uh, the oxide ions oxide films are prepared by means of anodic uh, oxidation method then uh, last method we have under this uh, uh, chemical method is the thermal oxidation okay the thermal oxidation means uh, here you can read many substances oxidize in air especially at high temperature and in some cases the product is an inert film which inhibits further oxidation that means suppose if you have a say aluminium okay you have a aluminium rod this is a aluminium okay so if you keep that uh, aluminium uh, in the atmospheric air in the atmospheric air we have oxygen right so the oxygen can uh, you know deposit over this aluminium as the thin film but the thickness of uh, oxide layer on the aluminium is only 30 to 40 armstrong okay 30 to 40 armstrong okay the thickness of the oxide layer over the aluminium is only this much in the room temperature but if you rise the temperature okay if you elevate the temperature then what happened the thickness of the oxide film over the aluminium increases uh, you know drastically okay the thickness of the oxide film over the aluminium increases as the temperature is raised and one more thing you need to remember here in the thermal uh, this thermal oxidation method is not restricted to oxide film okay that means you can apply this uh, thermal oxidation to prepare another uh, uh, you know uh, film also that is nitride film also okay you can prepare the nitride film by means of thermal oxidation that is uh, by exposing the metal to a ammonia at higher temperature okay what you need to do you have to expose the metal uh, to ammonia at elevated temperature then what happened the nitride film you can uh, uh, have the nitride film over that metal okay so this is uh, uh, to get the oxide film as well as to get the nitride film okay uh, this is about the chemical uh, uh, method in the next class uh, or in the next video we will study the physical method thank you for watching